What's going on, everyone? Might go back with a quick card show recap. So this weekend, one of my local malls, the Nishamini Mall, had a card show. And it's a great show. They have it four to five times a year. Really nice mix of vintage and modern, raw and slabbed, value boxes and higher price cards. It's great. A lot of great opportunities to pick up sweet stuff for the collection. Uh, A lot of great values there as well. I only had a few free minutes this weekend, so I got there for Friday night for about two hours. Met up with Ray from Philly, fellow YouTuber there, so that was awesome. And then Saturday, I got there for about an hour when the show opened, and that was it. So didn't get a ton of time to kind of look around or kind of dig through everything I would have liked to, but still a great time, awesome show, really fun. I know my friend Ed, a.k.a. Wesker Griff here on YouTube, also got to the show Saturday, so I'm sure those guys will be showing off some stuff as well. But just wanted to show a few pickups I had, uh, mostly Hall of Famers or potential Hall of Famers. So picked up a... Derek Jeter, 93 tops. Cool card there. Figured it was worth picking up for five bucks. Has a shot to be a nine. We'll see. To me, even if it was an eight for five bucks, worth picking up. Picked up the 2005 tops. Justin Verlander, another potential slash future Hall of Famer. Had a great career with the Tigers. Obviously, Some of the icing on the cake with the Astros, even though the Astros are kind of uh, mixed up in all the controversy. I don't think it'll affect Verlander all that much. So another nice card, possible nine. And then outside of that, just added some 71 tops. I've gotten really into the 71 tops. Here's Steve Garvey, another guy who has a shot in the future. We'll see. This one has a print spot there, but... If I get the 71 tops at a cheap enough price, this is Tom Seaver, obviously a Hall of Famer. I, uh, I've been having fun picking them up. It's a very condition-sensitive condition set. And the thing is, even if you decide you want to get some graded, you can get lower grades in this set and really not lose out because the higher graded stuff is so expensive for people who are looking for slabbed versions. Is it Ted Simmons, one of the new Hall of Famers? That, uh... You know, the low grades, people will pay up for those. So these are all cards I'll consider uh, sending in for slabbing. Another Simmons, a little nicer than the last one, but issues up top. It's just these black borders are so tough. This one is pretty solid, but there is a little surface crease, unfortunately. When I first saw it, I thought, oh, man, that one's got uh, strong possibilities, but that crease will crush it. And then picked up some Burt Blylevens, another card that is uh, kind of flown up in price, somewhat under the radar for people who aren't paying attention, but picked up three of these. Uh, all these pretty decent value pickups. I think the Blylevens were about around $9 each. One of them was a little cheaper. Simmons, kind of all over the place. I think $3, $7, 2 bucks. I think I picked one up. Forget on the Seaver, it might have been like 10 or 15, but thought it looked fairly clean. The Garvey was fairly cheap. Verlander was 25, so if it's a 9, it's like a 65, $70 value, and the Jeter for 5 bucks. So it was a fun show, definitely fun to look around. I actually picked up some other stuff, uh, kind of binder material, 15 for a dollar cards, but uh, just wanted to share the pickups. Uh, like I said, fun show. Check out your local card shows and malls and stuff like that. If you guys have shows around you, they're definitely worth checking out. Uh, It's always fun to kind of look at cards in person. Obviously, there's uh, phenomenal opportunities on eBay and ComC and so many other uh, online places to purchase. But uh, card shops and card shows are a lot of fun. Philly show coming up in two weeks. Can't wait to get there and hopefully meet up with fellow YouTubers maybe make a video. We'll see what happens, but comment below. Let me know what you think of these card show pickups, and I'll talk to you next time. Have a great one.